Hi, it's Russ from Proto Expert, and uh, we have been talking on the site recently about the Source Connect Source Nexus plugin. It's an AEX plugin which allows you to bring audio in and back out of Pro Tools as a plugin. So if you've got sources that don't either have rewire or you need to get audio, let's say from a website or from iTunes or anything into Pro Tools now with HD or native, you can bring it in via this interface. You can either bring it in as an auxiliary or with some routing, you can also record it. What I've done as well is I've got a copy of MPC which currently isn't an AX plugin so I'm running this in standalone and I'm going into the preferences here and now Source Nexus shows up as an interface that I can use. So I'm choosing it as an interface and also in the version I'm using there's several versions, there's a stereo version and then there's this version which is giving me separate outputs as well. So as you can see I've got up to 16 outputs there available to me. I've also got input channels as well, so I can send to and from Source Nexus in Pro Tools. So for now, I'm just going to send from it. So if I now play this, you see as I'm hitting the pads on my MPC, you can see that it's coming back via Pro Tools. And if I now play some MIDI here, for example, It's coming back and it's coming back by the Source Nexus plugin and there it is and it's very straightforward to set up. Uh, the one thing you've got to get used to is here is the routing. Now it either works as a stereo or a mono plugin and if you choose it, these things here, that's the input and that's the output. Uh, you go down and you can choose pairs. I'm choosing pair one and two coming in. If you match the pairs, you'll get feedback loops. So you've got to be careful of that. So it, it defaults normally to not having one or two available. So as you can see, it's grayed out and you can't use those because it doesn't want to create a feedback loop. So I've got coming in one and two here, which are the two outputs, the main stereo outputs there of the MPC. And then the, the, in, the outputs going out of the source uh, nexus, if I want to use outputs, at 23 and 24, I've put them right at the top there. And so now if I play it, See it's coming back via the the plugin. Now the next thing as well is uh, you're probably asking about delay. Well, you can compensate for delay, uh, especially on MIDI channels, straight away because you can put uh, you can figure out the latency between coming out of here, coming back into Pro Tools, the latency, the combined latency of Pro Tools and the external device. And I've calculated about 100 milliseconds is that. So if I now put a click on and play at you. And also, of course, I can record that audio. I can't bring it straight into an audio channel, but if I create an audio channel, new stereo pair, and bus across to it, MPC audio, there we go, or another type on a live video. And I do a send from here as a bus. So I'll go for bus seven and eight. I'll bring bus seven and eight back into here. There it is. Let's put it in record and let's record it. And let's stop that and let's have a look at that as well. So now I've got that coming in. Let me also can check straight away by just zooming on that timeline how my delay compensation is being. That's pretty close. And then of course I could then put this back to output one and two. Quickly test the two, see how they're doing. That's pretty close. And of course, what you could do as well then is you could you could use the the nudge if you needed to move it a little further and get it in sync. So there we go. Uh, very useful plugin. That's how it works. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.